Greetings and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at the XML parser and adding vocal scripts in Angular. Please like, share, and subscribe, and most importantly, reach out to me in the comments section for any help, tips, and suggestions. So overall, when we want to add external scripts, there's many straightforward ways to do this in Angular, right? You make a, you use your observable, make a request, at like so likewise also you could go into index HTML and add the scripts there as a script tag as well however when we have local scripts it's not so straightforward we could we could use TypeScript files but say for example if we have a library like vanilla tilt or particles.js and trying to reverse engineer the script is not as obvious right what we can go instead and do is we can go into angular.json and provide this in our scripts. Now, me personally, I always like to say backend polyfills because it's a polyfill. There's like something missing. And also, if a, if a browser doesn't support um, a certain feature, you might want to edit the script out to uh, support more features. Say, for example, parse XML, we're actually going to take a look at this, which is really a polyfill. Um, and then modernizer too, right? We can see that if we have a feature we want to implement, we need the down parser, but that doesn't exist. Say it's we're on older browser, then we use that active X object, right? So that is just a preference for me and how we do things at our company here, right? So after we have set up our local script and have added that to angular.json, what we're going to head or we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go and open up the app component and to see how we can make things practical. So first things first, in order for us to use our script, we have to make it available. And this is the code just to go ahead and make it available like so. All right, we wanna go ahead and use this code. This is available everywhere in our app, all right? And we use the var, not the let, because the let is gonna keep the local to app component. But if we need it everywhere inside our Angular application, right, we're going to use the var keyword, right? This is what our XML looks like, um, right? This is what you can usually get from an API request, right? And now to go ahead and parse it, we can use this code like so. And now, if we head over to if we head over to our browser, right, we can see once we click, right, we can get something meaningful. So what I did here in our script is that basically I just took I just took one of the let me just open up XML at the side, I just took up one of these elements, right, in XML. All these um, tags, are, think of them as JSON keys, and then the values inside of these tags are JSON values, right? So all I did was I took one of these children elements, which is like a JSON key, right, and I just printed out all the properties that it had, right? So basically just giving you a basic um, introduction on how to work with XML. Just think of them like HTML, right? And it was a really short video. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, reach out to me in the comments for any help, tips, and suggestions.